Dude, a new walkabout course is here, and you know what that means, an all new fox hunt for that sweet new putter. Can't find that last clue, or you know, just don't want to look for any of them? Then stay here, and I'll show you how to find every single last one. Consider subscribing, thanks for watching, let's get into it. All right, so the very first place we're gonna start is hole one. We'll turn around and go straight over to the post, and you'll see the very first clue sitting on the post. Next, we're gonna head over to hole 17, and right at the entrance, you'll find the next clue, Next, we'll head over to hole four, go over to the metal grate, and sitting on the metal grate is clue number three. For this next one, we're gonna head over to number 12. I'm gonna turn around and go straight over to the top of the elevator, and right on the railing, you'll see the next clue. For the next clue, we're not gonna go back to the scorecard. Just turn around, head over to this roof, and once you crest the roof, you'll see the next clue. This next clue is at hole number six. Just go straight down the fairway and look for the tombstone on your right. At the foot of the tombstone is the clue. We'll return to the scorecard, go to hole number 17, and just head over to the fireplace for the next clue. The next clue is a fun one. Go to hole number seven, and then we're gonna head over to the tree, hop into the elevator, head down, and make sure to turn around because you need to go through that door. Head on out of the elevator and down the dock. At the very end, you're gonna see our first red clue. This next clue requires a series of switches. We're going to start with the first one at hole three. Head on over to the switch box. You're gonna to point to the switch then squeeze the trigger on your controller. Return to the scorecard and then go to hole six. Go ahead and turn around and then head over to the switch by hole five. Again, point your controller at it and then squeeze the trigger. Back of the scorecard, choose hole eight, turn around towards the cabin and again, point at the switch and turn it on. We're gonna take a different approach with the next one. Lean over towards the lighthouse and then teleport to hole nine point your trigger at the switch and turn it on. Back at the scorecard, go to hole number 10. I'm gonna travel up just a bit past the pin and you'll see the switch on your left. We'll return to the scorecard, go to hole number 13, turn right around and go just past the fountain, you'll see the switch. We'll head back to the scorecard, choose hole 15, this is the rocket ship. Since this is a little bit of a way, I'm gonna speed it up. Right next to the rocket ship, you'll see the switch, turn it on. So then the final switch is back at the scorecard, hole one, turn right around, head over to the switch, turn it on, that opens up a door, and then you'll get the next clue. Okay, so we're done with the switches. Go back to the scorecard, hole 15, go down the spiral stairs. This one's a little weird. Look for the bricks, you'll see it right here on the right. Point to the light colored brick, squeeze the trigger, the door opens and grab the clue. Back at the scorecard, we will choose hole number eight. At hole eight, you're back at the cabin. Just go right into the cabin, turn to the left to the safe, click the safe with the trigger and take out the clue. So head back to the scorecard and we're gonna teleport to the top of the planetarium to grab the next clue. Once there, you'll see it right in front of you. Back to the scorecard, and we're going to lean over and teleport down to hole number three. Right in front of the gear, you'll see three papers. Go ahead and grab those. So back to the scorecard, then hole 17. You're gonna have a choice to make between three different putters. The red book, which is putter one. The blue book, which is putter two. Or the one I'm going to take here, which is represented by a sheet of paper. And just to be clear, there are three putters in total the red book, the blue book, and the sheet of paper. If you choose the red or blue book, it ends the fox hunt here and you get that putter. We are going to choose the third option, the sheet of paper inside the fireplace, which has further steps beyond this. But once we are finished here getting this putter, you can return to this fox hunt, restart the entire fox hunt, then choose the blue or red book you will not lose any of the putters you've already chosen. Head on over to the fireplace and you're actually gonna go into the fireplace. Then you're going to turn around. You're going to pick up the clue and then look at your wrist. 
you'll see a series of buttons you have to push. Push the buttons in that order. So one, two, four, two, three, one, three. Grab the next clue. Head back to the scorecard, and this time we're gonna head over to hole 18. We're gonna go down the stairs, and this one is a little difficult because you have to grab the clue on top of the elevator. I arrived just before the elevator, so I was able to pick it off the top. Back to the scorecard, and we will go down to hole number 13. Here, you're going to choose three switches, the tick to the right of that, the snake, then you'll turn around, head across, past the fountain, and choose the maple leaf. This will cause the model ship to raise up out of the fountain. Let's head on over to hole number one where you see the ship coming up there. Once the ship is fully out of the water, we are able to board. And this is it. This is the thing you've been waiting for, man. Get on board, get that last clue, you did it! What the what? You found all the clues! So which putter did you choose? My favorite is the one with that thing on the top? Probably the exact same one you chose. That makes us putter buddies! Which means you need to watch this video and should consider subscribing. I can't tell you how much that means to me. Thanks so much.